Mark the vet has come along to give Hattie a health check, starting with her heart. I can barely hear it beating through the layers of fat covering her chest. It's time now to solve some of your pet problems with Mark. Nice to see you. As Mark pays a home visit with cat behaviour advisor, Sarah Fisher. She's a phenomenal cat behavioural expert. She's one of the best, and I can't wait to see what she comes up with. And I think we know why he's been in a bit of a struck, because he's a girl. Mark wants to analyse Ralph's diet to see if that holds the key to his bad behaviour. So, Pauline, I just want to show you what you're feeding Ralph in just one week. That's loads. When you see JD going for poo, going for pants, What's your response? What do you shout? I just shout his name. What you're doing is what millions of dog owners do. They shout the dog's name and expect the dog just to come back. But what we really have to do here, because dogs hear their name mentioned so many times without a command, is we have to add a command. So we have to say, for example, come, JD. Did you take your clubbing with you, George, or something? <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. We're taking a bite. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, go on. No, so, so, what... so when he goes clubbing, it really comes out of his shell. This, uh... <laughs> I'm very proud to say that on behalf of Pedigree, you have been successful <laughs> and you are the recipient of £20,000. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Oh, yes. <laughs> so, yay! Wow, what a fantastic day it's been here at the National Animal Welfare Trust. One month ago, four humiliated pet owners came seeking help and advice from the Pet Shame Clinic, headed up by vet Mark Abraham. They take them on, they make fantastic family pets. Well, you say this is for, for, for older, elderly people. It's a greyhound. How are you going to keep up with that? That's a good wise. point, Philip and Holly, but they don't need as much exercise as people think. It's a complete myth. A normal adult female beagle should weigh about roughly 12 kilos. Um, Hattie is weighing in at about 27 kilos today. That is extremely bad. What's the touch for? Him? Oh, I'm, I'm just not sure if he's. Yeah, I'm not sure. Said they, they can bite. They can oh, bite, right, okay, but they're not thanks. poisonous. <laughs> Good boy. This is really great. JD's responded so well and so quickly to such a simple training technique. This is positive reinforcement training at its very best, and you can see how quickly it works with Good a dog boy. like JD. Just to leave you, someone tweeted me this morning and said, can I leave my pet alone if they're nervous about fireworks? And it's like, it's the worst thing you can do. Thank you. Fascinating, as always, but uh, needs saying, doesn't it? Thank it you. It really does.